<laughs> I like that that enthusiastic choreography, Jamesy. Good morning, we're so glad you're here. We didn't leave vlog, so if you like this video, come uh -oh. back tomorrow. I said I don't even care if we get a copyright claim. Never. Uh. Emergency update to our Italian family traditions. Pinecrest and New Buffalo, where we usually go, does not have Fraser Furs and very limited Douglases. So we're doing something the family doesn't do, and we're going somewhere else. We're going somewhere in Indiana. So everyone's getting piled in the cars, and we're gonna go. Amesy, are you double fisting suckers? Thank goodness. Teddy's already asleep. He wasn't so happy when we first got in the car, but we're on our way to a new place. <sighs> we don't know. We don't know how to quite pronounce. We don't know how to quite pro. I can't even say that word. We don't know. I don't know how to pronounce. There you go. Pronounce anything. And then that's part of the video where you put the ding and it puts the, puts the word up. So you can right. See, so you can <laughs> pronounce. Where are we going? Gussie? Goose? Gussie? M -M I'm going, -S -E. I, I think it's two syllables. M-U-S-E is muse. Right. So this is cues. <laughs> Use. Oh, I haven't heard that one yet. Use. It just makes sense. Going straight for the water, my man. Boy, Colin Dibs. That one is nice. We found. We have found our tree. Wait. Basic. What? I have a great idea. Changing mat? Yeah. Dad no. cut it so Dad cut it so no. fast. No. Okay. Ready? Timber! Oh my gosh! I may or may not have missed Peter actually cutting it down. So. Did you enjoy the reenactment? This is your tree! I do it. The tree, the tree is safely in the car. Whew. Teddy is asleep. Teddy is asleep. We're gonna go back and do a little bit of shopping in the little um, shop. Whoa. Jack! <laughs> James has been having a, a lovely time. Um, honestly, I think we like acted well on our toes. This was a good second option, but I am yeah, missing, I'm missing pine crust. Grant saved the day because I, even though we're at a new place, he's keeping a tradition of going to a speedway. So we're gonna do a little stimulus package of this. We're gonna inject our entire family's funds into the speedway this day, just this once, by everybody getting a bunch of unnecessary snacks on the way to a large barbecue dinner. <laughs> Teddy's party trick is screaming the house down and then when, when I hold him after, he's just so happy. You're pretending like nothing ever happened. You got a nice big brother making you smile. Are you delirious, Jamesy? We are past nap time. 
but hopefully we'll just sleep the whole car ride back. I didn't vlog too much in there because it was pure anarchy with our entire family in that small speedway, but I got way too big of a haul. If you're from Chicago or Northwest Indiana, you know this. We call it the Grand Canyon and we missed it on the way there, so I'm very happy that we're, we're driving over it on the way back. Can you even see? But I, I guarantee you, if you're from this area, you know what I'm talking about. All right, this is a normal part of our tradition, the patio. We had to wake the kids up because they're all asleep and James and Billy start eating cheese. Cheez-It. We got a double cheeseburger. I don't know what I'm gonna do today. It's gonna be good though. I got a breaded chicken sandwich and their cream of chicken rice soup. What'd you get, Josh? Barbecue bacon burger. Beep, 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 beep. What do you, what are you eating over there? Pickle? Oh, <laughs> his eye twitch. He likes it. Burger. Burger. Matt sticks. Hey, Luca. Well, we're home from a very long day. I went to go get the tree stand and I forgot that everything we own apparently is in this closet. So. Gotta find a tree stand. In reality, it's not far. It's, it's just past yonder and around the corner. That's one of the legs right there. But I do think I need to take some of the stuff out to get to it. My favorite thing about our minivan, the built-in vacuum. Goodbye, Christmas tree pines. You will haunt me no more. Oh, no! That was a mitten. Oh, jeez. That stuck somewhere in there for sure. Oh. Why does vacuum have to be so good? All right, so this is like where the vacuum cartridge is. I saved the mitten, but it's pretty dirty now. I thought I just broke the vacuum. So, small wins, right? Love my Chrysler Pacifica. Vlog's not sponsored, but hey, Chrysler. We'd be game. That's Sarah making noises at Teddy. <laughs> so I'm at my most nerve-wracking part. It's two parts. It's putting the tree in the tree stand because these get holes drilled in, on, in them. Um, I'm almost nervous that they're not going to be level. And I'm also nervous that I have to like cut more branches off the bottom and it ruins the, the tree that we saw in the field because we see it with all the branches, but you have to cut lower branches off on these tree stands. So, fingers crossed, everybody. Christmas. Here it is, in all its glory. A little different, we, have, we, we haven't done a wide tree in a while, which I, I'm I don't feeling. Know that. I don't think we as a married couple have ever done a wide yeah. tree. Yeah. We've always gone, cause like. Narrow and Narrow and tall. tall. We've always bought, whenever we bought like a real tree like this, either in our first apartment, or the one on the south side, or yeah. this one. Like we've always had taller ceilings, so we've been able to maybe we want to maximize. Oh it gosh, Teddy's taking Teddy. <laughs> Teddy's taking over the vlog. He's <laughs> oh. <laughs> kicking like crazy. Oh. <laughs> Look at the tree. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But yeah. Looks good. We're gonna let it fall before we do anything to it, right? Yeah, we gotta get a uh, whole thing of water. Hopefully, it sucks it all up. We don't know the true healthiness <laughs> of it because it's a new farm we've never been to, but the, the pines feel strong. They're a little short. I think it is a younger tree. And it was like really easy to cut down. Yeah, it had That's really, why I missed it. Had a, it. it had a narrow trunk, like only yeah. this. Where like the other farm we go to, like I literally get a brick of sweat out. <laughs> Teddy is, <laughs> Teddy's just the cutest. Look at these legs going. <laughs> but like grabbing the camera, grabbing everything. Hey, Mr. Grabby Pants. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, we got a little chef over here. Oh, I like the ladle technique with the hot dog <laughs> on the plate. Hot dog sandwich? 
Okay, okay. Put a side of milk. Oh yeah, gotta put the bread on the ladle. Right, right. This is when you know James has been like out and about not at home around other kids when he came comes home and just needs to play with his toys. So intentionally. Do we occasionally take towels from Walt Disney World Resort pools? Yes. Do we use them as a base for our natural Christmas trees thinking they'll be infused with the magic of Disney World? Yes. Okay, just had to show Jamesy's art. He's been very into circles. I love this. We're gonna frame it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And then he lined up all the markers. <laughs> Look at Teddy up there. Do you ever sneeze? Oh, the baby on your shoulders, oh my god, it's terrifying. <laughs> I just imagine like, <laughs> like whipping Teddy across the wall. Butter! Isn't butter divinity? <laughs> We're getting this place in line this week. Yes. Um, Teddy also, we think, is so far in life a thrill kid. Yeah. He saw like the Tilt World yesterday at Gallagher Wayne. He was like, ah, ah. And then just now when I put him on, this is the first time he's ever put on my shoulders. Yeah? Um, and he was like, woohoo! You beat me to it. I put James on my shoulders before you did. Remember that? Um, also, <laughs> that was cool. Um, you want to know? I always, I always get um, anxious when the rest of the world deems it acceptable to celebrate Christmas. I do too. Because like we've been celebrating, and then like it feels like when everyone else starts, it's, it's almost, almost over. over. Yeah. It <laughs> so true. we really need to. We're gonna this week. <laughs> We're getting in this place into Winter Wonderland. And it's like true that like there's only like three or four weekends between now and Christmas. My birthday is in there. There's so much to do in Chicago. There's, Our 14 there's a few family year traditions. anniversary. Our 14 year anniversary. Work. <sighs> Babies. Wow. Eve. <laughs> She's a cutie girl. She can't wait till it snows so she can frolic. Hey. Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We're at Teddy's six month checkup. 18 pounds, six ounces. <laughs> Basically just everything went easy peasy. <laughs> he is gonna get some shots today. We're gonna prioritize flu and the Moderna COVID shots. He's gonna get vaccinated for COVID. Um, so he'll be all all up to date by the time of our cruise, nice and protected. <laughs> yeah. And his typical other six month ones too, so. That is how we're starting our day. And you know, after doctor's appointments, we pick ourselves up with some McDonald's. Usually I do a mobile order, just like through the drive-thru, but my app was acting super weird. Um, and so I just decided to park, get it situated, and then just do the curbside pickup. Teddy is asleep. Um, this is kind of like, it, we say this all the time, but it does feel like a last hurrah, um, at least for this season of life, because we are getting back into the swing of things after the holiday. The Dopey Challenge, which if you're new here, we have a ton of race run disney vlogs from years past doing the dopey challenge peter is doing the dopey challenge again this year at walt disney world during the beginning of january um and that is a 5k a 10k a half marathon and a full marathon four days right in a row um and then followed by that we are going on a disney cruise we will get on the cruise we have been trying to get on a cruise for quite some time um again if you're new here we booked a Disney cruise after our first failed embryo transfer um, in the summer of 2019. And I'm sure we'll talk about it more as it nears, um, but we've had to cancel for a handful of reasons. And this January, we are going to get on that cruise. Um, and so basically like Peter needs to get more serious about his training. I have fallen off my Peloton schedule. Um, and so we kind of just like really let ourselves enjoy our vacation and Thanksgiving weekend um, and now this McDonald's. So we're kind of, you know, starting a new page of just going grocery shopping and getting on track again um, to make ourselves feel good. That is always our 
honestly is our goal is to feel good and to obviously train for events like uh, the running challenge that Peter has going on. Um, and we actually hadn't talked about, hold on, I think my food is coming. I'll, I'll talk in a minute. All right, I'm just putting this little clip in out of order here um, because I don't think we ever talked about how Peter and I both went and got like regular checkups done, yearly blood work. Our goal is to just take care of our routine health. Um, now that we're 30, now that, you know, we should just be responsible <laughs> parents um, and responsible adults. And so when Peter's blood work came back, nothing came back different with your blood work, right? Nope. Nope, his blood work was good. However, mine did have some indicators of my health. My vitamin D has always been low. Um, that is a big part of fertility. So I kind of knew that would be the case. So I was put on like a vitamin D booster. So there's that. My blood work also showed that I have signs of anemia, which we also knew. Um, and so with my prenatal, we just have to make sure I'm taking that, get my iron in all good uh, but then my cholesterol was higher and I had never heard of that before so that was just a little bit more interesting to learn about um, however I do know that with my genetics I need to be aware of my heart health and so seeing that I want to be proactive and so um, I'm gonna introduce some oats into my diet keeping up with the plant-based diet would be great I don't really eat a lot of red meat. I do eat red meat when I'm out and about, so just be aware of that. Processed foods especially, um, and just incorporating things like nuts and such into my diet. So those are things, like, things that I would not have known had I not gotten the blood work and that I'll be able to fix with food for now. And I also know the doctor said that I should just keep up with the regular exercise. And so I'm hoping once I get back into the routine of that, that I could potentially even increase that. But just so good to know, and so good to be proactive about, um, and I'm very happy that we did that. All right, it's Monday at 5.30, but of course we live in the Midwest and it's late November, so it looks like it's three in the morning. Um, first day back at work, wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but was still pretty busy after basically having two weeks off. Um, so still, you know, I think we'll be bouncing back tomorrow. Still, I've got a team meeting I'm going to hold in the morning. But I started getting a really bad headache around like 1, 2 o'clock-ish. And finally, I mean, I took some medicine at the end of the day. I feel like it's kind of starting to help, but it still hurts. Sarah's going to go shopping. She's getting the vlog up now. Teddy's taking a nap. James just woke up from his nap. Love that flip-flop right there. Um, and they added the Disney Parks holiday special on Disney Plus, so we've had that on for a little bit now. Just kind of hanging out on our Monday, right? Open. Is it open, please? Okay, thank you. There we go. Hey, put those in there. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> you see yourself? We've achieved a couple of the things we set out to, because Teddy's a rock star. And now we're, we're sweating it out in the steam shower here in the bathroom. But um, he's just, he's got a little congestion. Um, but also, I just think like he's not faring as well in the steam heat, the dry air. So we're gonna chill, watch some videos, play with some toys for the next 15 minutes in this and give ourselves a little sauna. We have some humidifiers on the way, so maybe we don't have to keep doing this. Yeah. But we've been saying, I think this is his new slogan, it's like, Teddy's always down for a good time. That's that's so far his personality. He's, he's always ready for a good time, right? Yeah, he will. Oh, back off, you're embarrassing me, Dad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Jamesy joined me today. Grocery shopping. We have not 
shopped in a long time. So it's going to be a big haul. And look what I found for Peter. They didn't have it at Jewel yesterday, so he's going to be a happy guy. I'll do a little haul when I get home. Are you pleased? <laughs> We're home. Aldi was actually closing while I was there, so I kind of had to round up pretty quick, didn't get to film much. Um, and Peter is helping me get the rest of the bags in. I was gonna do a little taste test of this peppermint kettle corn they have. It is so good. I thought it almost had chocolate on it, but I think it's just like a sugary. Very good. I'm sorry, Evie. Can't have any. It is. I finished up shopping at 8 o'clock and we did not eat dinner, so I am just throwing together quick these noodles, which are really nice from Aldi, um, and some pasta sauce just to eat fast. We did eat a late lunch, but we're hungry. This is not going to be fancy, um, but here it goes. We got mold wine. For our canned goods, we have garbanzo beans, black beans, and I got lentil soup. This is like my hack for some of my lentil dishes is getting a lentil soup so you don't have to cook your lentil separately and then I can just like, I don't know, cook up some veggies and make it more substantial but just like use a lentil soup as a base. Some veggie stock, got kombucha, berry nirvana, some things that we are just out of, peanut butter, um, banana peppers, pickle chips. When I saw this sauce with Jardinier sauce, I had to try it, so that's what we'll eat tonight. And then I got pomegranate plum juice to mix with like ginger ale or Sprite or something to make little holiday drinks. We got oat milk. We got coconut milk. We are doing our best to be plant-based. These are not plant-based. Peter and I are doing our best to be plant-based through Christmas. Then these are our favorites for Jamesy's snacks and lunch. These fruit strips, guacamole singles, hummus, and then these little dumpling wonton situation. Alrighty, here are all my carbs, essentially. We got the artisanal flatbreads, whole wheat bread, these garlic and chive pita crackers, garden vegetable crackers. I honestly didn't mean to get both. Pretzel slims, croissants, our James favorite these mini naan these do have uh, i want to say egg in them so those aren't plant based wraps some quinoa we're actually pretty good on like rice and couscous and stuff um but i did get this chickpea penne pasta and then these five color shell noodles oh these look so good so this is the pop i got to make my little holiday drink citrus twist i'm hoping that i can make something taste like cranberry sear mist. Then I got yellow potatoes and white onions. I like these because of their size. I feel like sometimes I don't want a medium, like a full medium sized onion, but I don't want, I want more than half. And these just felt like the perfect size. Willing into existence us actually consuming all of this spinach and wraps and smoothies and anything. If I didn't say it, here is like our producey stuff. Boston lettuce, white mushrooms, these mini cucumbers, sugar bomb, tomatoes. I also got like multicolored cherry tomatoes that we already dug into. Some jalapenos, blueberries, pineapple, some bell peppers, avocado, apples, and then I got some frozen cauliflower and then this Asian stir fry. So that is the our full grocery haul. Um, I did not have dinners planned and like ingredients like listed out. I just got a bunch of stuff and so I'm gonna have to make some dinners up. Um, but I'm hoping that there will be a lot of cook with me's coming soon because we are sticking to like eating at home and eating plant-based leading up into the holiday and the Dobby challenge. Here's our quick dinner. The sauce is spicy, but it is very, very good. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.